Let me ask you this. How is your sock drawer looking these days? Is it scary? Is it a little pathetic? Maybe time for a spring cleaning and a refresh? Well, guess what? Bombas, my favorite sock company, just dropped a bunch of absurdly soft new socks, tees, and underwear to help you get that drawer in a better place while doing a little good. Let me tell you about Bombas, okay? Y'all know I love a nice long walk, and for that, I need some socks that are going to hug my feet, and they do it by using a little thing called honeycomb arch support yeah baby never have my feet felt more supported they're anti-blister tabs they've got cushioned footbeds that feel like little pillows for your feet not to mention buttery soft tees and underwear with no itchy tags plus they do good you feel good they do good one purchase equals one donated so every time you buy their socks tees or underwear you can also donate essential clothing to someone facing homelessness to date bombas has donated over a hundred million clothing items and counting plus they've got a hundred percent happiness guarantee so if the dryer or your dog or your lover eats your sock and you're unhappy with your purchase for virtually any reason they will replace it and make it right no matter what so get comfy this spring and give back with bombas head over to bombas.com slash tmgw and use code tmgw for 20 percent off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash TMGW and use code TMGW at checkout. This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well then cheers, Grace Helby. Cheers, my friend. Y'all, welcome to another This Might Get Weird. I just got burpy before we started. Yeah, drinking some sensible seltzers, recording on a Memorial Day. I know everyone else is out enjoying themselves at a barbecue or a pool party or a slip and slide or a firework show. And me and you are in long sleeve shirts recording yeah. in a little house. Well, I did <laughs> make the um, mistake of going to the mall today. What? By accident. Oh gosh. This is the classic. This is just what's been happening for okay. me. The I've been I had to make a return to Express. I bought these bold bronze shiny pants and wow. they did not fit. Are they leather? Pleather. Yeah. I know. I felt very, very frisky. And then I tried them on and they're just like a little ill fitting. <laughs> Hammer like, pants. Yeah. That I was like, these would have to I'd have to be in a prime uh moment of confidence to wear these. And yeah. these would have to fit really, really well. That's a Vegas pant. Yeah, 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 yeah. This mm-hmm. is I'm going to a different little fantasy land pant. But um today was like the last day that I could actually like return them. Oh, flirting and with flirting with uh danger girl. I've done a few things today that I should that are just like out of the normal for me. Elliot and I went and got pedicures. I saw on your story a picture of that man looking gleefully tickled. On uh, my story? No, he posted that. that. He, he, and he I guess he posted like it. What? No, <laughs> oh, he po- yeah, he asked if he's like, will you take a photo of me? There we go. And then it's him being um, looking like he's in pain. But Has he ever had a pedicure before? Yeah, but he's same as you. He's he ticklish. He gets super ticklish. And it was very, very funny to like watch. He'd have to apologize. He apologized like five <laughs> yep. times to this woman just being like, sorry, sorry. It's all it's not. It's me problem. Not you. Uh, but then I was like, oh, we're by the mall. Let me go to the mall on a Monday. It won't be crowded at all and make this return. The mall's fucking it's a place to be. I think Memorial Day yeah. is a, like a Black Friday. Truly. I think it is like a, a, a sa- the biggest sale of the summer. I, we were literally pulling into the parking lot and I was like, oh, what have I done? This oh, is no. like going to Costco right before Thanksgiving, which we've done. So this was like, Elliot was like, I'm just going to, I'm going to drop you off. There's no parking. This one guy. God, he had his lights on like he was pulling out. He backed his car up three inches and then got out of it and waved his finger at me like no. this, going, no, 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 because I had my blinker on thinking he was pulling out of a spot. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay, that would have filled me with actual rage. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of funny. And also, like, I don't want to be here. So, like, you just gave me a reason to potentially leave. Um, but, now- yeah, it was also... The sales did look great. Really? And that's the bummer that I was like, this is too stressful to be in here right now. But these sales do look like it's worth it. Do the sales end tomorrow? Or was it just is it just that this is the first day of the sales? So people try to get the things before they're sold out. I I don't know how sales work. Like are Black Friday deals available on that Saturday. It's just that there's a limited yeah. amount well, of TVs to fight for. That whole weekend has gotten out of hand because yeah. you got Cyber Monday. Yeah. You got something now on Saturday because they were like, well, let's make the whole weekend a thing. Side note, I feel like we can do better than the name Cyber Monday. 
Like, yeah, I think cyber to word... me is still having sex in an That's AOL chat I... room. Yes, every millennial out there, <laughs> I guarantee you, we all giggle and cringe when we see the word cyber because uh-huh. my only introduction to that word was how do you have sex with someone in a Yahoo chat room? <laughs> it's someone saying, hey, want a cyber? Wanna and cyber. as we all know, me saying, you're one sick puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, sir, this is a Nick Nickelodeon <laughs> chat room. Yeah. How dare you? Man, even like the horniness was like more pure back then. <laughs> okay, I have a follow-up question about your mall journey post-pedicure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have two questions. Mm-hmm. One. Did you wake up today and say, let's go get pedicures? Because this is no. this is a new type of grace, I tell you. Two nights ago, high on the couch, I thought, yeah. let me dive into Yelp right now and see if there's a place that, because mm. uh, Elliot's going out of town at the end of this week and he's going to be performing some comedy over in uh, Belfast you for gotta, an event. You got to have those toes looking good yeah. for Belfast. I, I, yeah, the Irish people, <laughs> that's all they want. Open toed shoes, 50 degree weather. Mm. It'll be perfect. But I was like, let's go like do a nice little thing for ourselves because he's been really Cute. working hard on it and just has been like writing, 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 writing. So I was like, let's go it was do a treat. Yeah, let's go do this. And also I get so nervous doing it because I don't I hard last time I did it was with you last summer. Dude, my toes right now. Yeah, they they like the city would shut it down yeah. if it was an establishment. Before I went to Mexico, I just tried to quickly hand paint my toes myself, but they look like I did it like during an earthquake. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, just us talking about this. This yeah. is how little I think about like my appearance. Yeah, yeah. Is I just remembered that I have on both feet. Yeah. Four out of five toes are purple. Okay. My pinky toe is not painted because you painted it purple. Because I painted them. Okay, not because not they're, they're, bruised. they're not bruised. They're not bruised. Painted. <laughs> them when they were already in shoes Mm -hmm. when i was on my way out to something yeah and like just now two weeks later i'm like i never did get them pinky toes (laughs) (laughs) looks like a choice (laughs) yeah you don't see the pinky toe hardly she hides she scoots in there she can curl in okay so then did you wear flip-flops through the mall yeah, I got these new Croc sandals, and they're the comf- most comfortable things Cute. ever. Um, but no, Elliot I was like, oh, it'll be, I'll have more confidence if we go do this together, because both of us don't really know how to do it. Because even like- Not I, codependent at all. No, I had ordered like a <laughs> gel manicure for my t- for pedicure for oh. my- Oh. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to treat myself. And so I'm like walking over to the wall to like look at the nail polish when I get there because I'm like, I know you go pick out a nail color. That's like the step I know you go do. Alien pretending to get a pedicure. I love it. I'm literally standing in front of this wall of nails and a girl comes over. She goes, here are your options. And it's like gel. So it's like a totally different little like keychain of nail colors. And I was like, yes, yes. Thank you so much. I was just looking at you. You're like, I'm like, just admiring the wall. Literally. I like, know how this works. An alien pretending to be a human being. Like, and then Elliot's my plus one there who equally doesn't know what's going on and is trying to be unnoticed but can't. And so it was, um, yeah, it ended up being like so great. And I was like, I get why people do this do, frequently. Does he go clear? He, yeah, did he, he make just, like a Scientologist he, and go clear? Well, I booked yeah, <laughs> I booked his for him. Uh, so I just got him something called like Revive. Where uh, And he was like, you know, I'm really ticklish. I was like, I didn't know that. You're like, I'm not like, tickling your feet. Yeah. I was like, they're going to like maybe massage you. And he was like, oh, God. Oh, God. For me, it's the like, yeah, it's the file. Part. The file gets me. Yeah. Have you ever had them do the thing? Again, I can count the amount of pedicures I've had on yeah. like my hands and feet. Uh where they like fully soak your feet like in a bag. This so this is what ha- so because it's Memorial Day they were like oh we're gonna uh, we're doing a little thing for Memorial Day where you get a collagen wrap at the end. So they put two little bags oh. on my feet with this lick collagen just gel in it I guess. And Elliot had like left to go to this other place around the corner. So I was texting him being like so my feet are in little bags <laughs> and she said just to leave them for a little bit. But I don't know. And then she left and started like cleaning up. Right. I was like, I don't know how long that's supposed to be. So I'm just going to sit with these little bags and see if someone (laughs) takes them off eventually. And then he came back. So I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. I just started untaping them. And then the girl comes running from around the corner. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'll help you. And I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you. And she just started taking them off. And I was like, this is why I don't leave my house. It can be a little awkward. I've done it before where they like soak your feet in something. And then that like 
get your feet ready for them to like really like go to get, town. get all the calluses off of yeah, it like one gonna... of those things where i'm like you lose a, a shoe size yeah yeah um but being there in those little bags you feel like you're like you yeah. just won two beta fish from a carnival <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they stuck your feet in those and you're like this is a squishy little bag yeah i was like i think i i think i like this i think i like this this is like when your clothes get wet in the rain and you have to stay in them the whole yeah time. exactly well i'm proud of you yeah i think i might try to do that more often so it becomes something i understand how to do and i'm not terrified at every minor moment i feel like this is probably also not even kidding yeah a conversation we had a year ago we were like we're yeah. gonna start doing this yeah, I know. And well, something else came up for all of me last year. <laughs> However, you were doing really good about nails for a minute there. So yeah, that's why I was like, I was so excited to go. And then I realized also I had like, I have like three blisters on my feet from Mexico of like breaking in sandals that I hadn't worn before. Oh, no. And so I was like, oh, I don't give a shit about my feet, but, but this is gross for it to be like, here you go. <laughs> like, Listen, every time I get a pedicure, every time I get a massage and remember like, I haven't shaved my legs in a week. Yeah. Or something like that. I always go, at the end of the day, there's someone grosser. Yeah. Well, it's like, you're the, every, you're not the grossest client today. I agree. Because I looked at the woman next to me and, I, and she was like a very like, she knew what she was doing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then I looked at her feet and I was like, hmm, okay, well, <laughs> my feet look a little better than that. So I'm okay with that. But it was Hell like yeah. every little choice was just a little bit wrong. Like even she was, I'm wearing leggings and she was trying to like lift the leggings up and it was just like snap, 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 <laughs> snap, snap. And she was trying to lift them up my legs because these are weirdly like tight around my ankles. And so it was just like every little thing was just off and i was like i'm the most awkward woman that's ever existed i'm sorry i'm glad elliot got to see and be like oh what elliot got to see and be like wow this is this is grace cosplaying lady girl yeah this is her authentic self i love it i love it People have said that Mamrie and I are an iconic duo, but what about the iconic duo when it comes to growing your business? Uh, that's you and Shopify. We got there. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow, whether you're selling scented soap or all offering outdoor outfits. Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. And sell more with less thanks to Shopify's magic, your AI powered all-star. What I love about Shopify is that no matter how big you wanna grow, they give you literally everything you need to take control and take your business to the next level. It is so user-friendly. You have all of the tools. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the US and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way. Because businesses that grow together, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash weird all lowercase go to shopify.com slash weird now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash weird um wowie zowie uh some something i saw today that really is bringing me joy yeah richard simmons Mm -hmm. might be coming to broadway what might might okay i get he still tweets even though he's a recluse yeah, what's recluse, he been up to? Recluse. I, w- I thought it was going to be bad news about him. So, Me too. Okay. No, no, no. It's great news. He tweets he's occasionally. He's a recluse, so he just stays in all the time. All the time. I mean, after that video of him getting his foot run over by a car <laughs> in that parking lot, <laughs> who would leave their house after that, too? Oh, of him no. talking to someone's video. Yes. And then a car <laughs> runs no. over us. If you haven't seen this, Google. I have. Yeah, Google uh, uh, Richard Simmons' car foot. <laughs> parking lot it'll he, come up and then he goes to get a pedicure and they're like sir your foot is flattened yeah you got one big flat foot <laughs> but it all happens in like slow motion all on camera and he goes ow <laughs> it is 
It's the craziest thing. It's video. iconic. It is Fabio getting hit in the face by a seagull. Yeah. It is that type of pop culture moment. But he still tweets and he was like, just got off the phone with a friend who's an attorney for a lot of like artists, like musical artists and licensing. And we're going to like, we're trying to bring, um, like sweat into the oldies to Broadway and they want it to be like interactive so you can like get up and dance in the aisles and stuff. Oh my God. I've never wanted anything more. Yeah. I don't, they, there can be a million award winning mind expanding Broadway shows. Yeah. I want to see sweat into the oldies. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Like, Mama Mia, the best part of that musical is just the ABBA concert they do at the end. Yeah, like, has, does, like does, the musical, the story's done, and then they're like, well, let's just play some songs yeah. that you guys know. And then that's all they do. They're just like, hey, mom's a whore. Mama Mia. Yeah, yeah, literally. But that would be great <laughs> and interactive. Like, on bro, I'd be so curious how they translate that to a stage but also situation. he's like 80 right so is he actually going to be in it or is it like it's got to be someone playing a version of him i don't know if it's a life story i don't know what it is we've yeah. got no deets i want the deets wait so he just tweeted that he got off a phone with a lawyer like they're gonna try to make an interactive broadway show but wow. i want him back on stage because yeah. i went to slimmons yeah I know. in beverly yeah. hills and it was one of the greatest mornings of my life yeah it's i mean does that still happen without him or no that's just i think slimmons shut down yeah that makes sense i mean <laughs> but no uh, uh, my biggest one of my biggest regrets in life which is huge mm -hmm. is that my friend carla was coming to la she's a um ventriloquist um that's and wild. and lifestyle photography uh like she she's a ventriloquist <laughs> slash she takes pictures of birds how do you get into both of those things well i met her when i was in new york and she w i like i saw her at a show mm -hmm. and i was like she's brilliant she just have like this kind of cranky terrible like little and she would just kind of fight with him and she's got like a red afro um amazing and then she was like ah screw this like i'm gonna move upstate and start photography and now she like wins like national geographic like Damn. picture of the year and stuff yeah she's pretty amazing but anyway we went and she was like do you want to go to slimmons i want to go and uh but i don't have time to do the class because of my um because of my flight but mm -hmm. he does like 30 minutes before class that's right. optional that you can come and just talk about like how your week in eating has been Right. Have you, you've told this story before. Have I? I feel like you must have. Well, then I won't do it again. <laughs> but I, I but clearly my, don't remember But my it. biggest regret is like that was before Uber was like a kind of established thing. Yeah. And so I, I just remember being like, God, I want to stay for this class. Yeah. And I couldn't because like Damn. we had to go to the airport. <laughs> but I do remember Richard sat there and he was talking about zoodles Zo at length. Yeah. And I was like. I could listen to this man talk about zoodles for the rest of my Did life. Did he have a problem with them or that he supported them? No, he was just talking about how he made a meal last night, but instead of regular noodles, he made them out of zucchini. And uh, now uh, he he's seen everything. Incredible. It was amazing. Incredible. He made some for his neighbor. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm losing my mind like Richard Simmons talking about it. But um, I hope that happens. I would like to sweat to the oldies yeah. at Broadway. And now I just looked up ventriloquist convention. Because I remember we were working on like a pitch for like a travel show to go to like conventions and stuff. Oh, it'd be and so I good. Remember, I was looking up and there's a ventriloquist convention. Con -E oh, like ventriloquism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what are they it's venting happening about? happening in July. Where is it? it? Vent Haven is what this is called. Okay. Uh, oh my God, this photo of everyone with their puppets. Okay. It's in Kentu oh, wow. Kentucky. Wait, I've seen this before. Yeah, Vent Haven Convention. It's at the uh, Holiday Inn at the airport. Sherry Lewis celebration. Is that her? No, that's no. her daughter. That's her daughter. Uh-huh. Uh, Should we go? I mean, it's... It's I, not a no. That didn't sound no. like a no. J I mean, I feel like it was one of those, like, is it taboo to go if you're not a ventriloquist? Like, right. is there supposed to be a safe space we'll for that sort of hobby you know what that tells me hmm we got a month to learn ventriloquism that's true, that's true. <laughs> don't give me a friggin challenge yeah i've been saying i'm gonna start learning spanish but maybe i should start learning how to be a ventriloquist first okay <laughs> i know we're in audio but i want you to do your best one i'm gonna mouth hello and i want you to try to make it look like i'm saying hello and i'm not talking and, and you're not making your mouth isn't moving okay. ready ready one two three Ha <laughs> ha
actual purpose this whole time. Oh, uh, no, why that got me. Uh, I so tried so bad. hard. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. See, so that's oh why I should pursue it, is what you're saying. <laughs> it so was I good. Should. I can't do it. That was amazing. Wait, you have to try. <laughs> you have to at least try. Okay, okay, so let me let me arrange my mouth so that I. Okay. I'm gonna let's do. Um, hey, what's up? Okay, okay and you're gonna count me down. Wait, you're gonna say I'm I, gonna. Say I'm gonna it. say it, and you're gonna move your mouth. Yeah. But you count me in. Three, two, one. Hey, what's up? That sounded, I forgot to look at you. <laughs> Let's see if you move your mouth. Like, it sounds like she's not moving. I'll do her it again. Mouth. I'll do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hey, what's up? That's really good. You really did a good job <laughs> showing teeth, but you seem fine. I feel I like just move my lips a little. <laughs> oh, I just made. I just tried to make my mouth smaller and more visible. A tiny mouth did. A tiny mouth did. <laughs> I ate my lips and then I tried to talk. <laughs> so, wow, there's room for improvement. That was great. See, I think I could maybe get into it because I, I've told you before. I used to do a thing where I kept my mouth closed but pretended like I was screaming from inside a locked space. Yeah, there's like a video um, <laughs> I saw of someone doing that too, where they're like, "My secret talent is that I can keep my mouth closed and Honestly, like talk I, like I'm stuck in a closet." I saw a TikTok of that, and I yeah. was like, "I've never like finally I feel Kindred seen." Spirit. Yeah, yeah, totally. But so I feel like that's part of it is being able to talk with your mouth closed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be so fun to be able to talk with your mouth shut. <laughs> I know, or to you just blame stuff on other people. Cause chaos everywhere you go. Absolute chaos. That would be such a joy. Oh, oh my god. There was I was. <laughs> yesterday so we did our live stream for patreon thank you all the patrons that showed up a blast so fun over the weekend on sunday and i was laughing so hard last night telling elliot about how i was like mamrie really does not eat sugar because she had <laughs> a bite of sugar babe and then she went off for like five minutes straight about sex in the city <laughs> like not even a rant just like a full like here's exactly what this show is and it was so funny because it was like how a child gets all hyper it's when true. they get it's sugar true. i took a bite of blondie yeah. and i was like so far deep into the sex in the city telling <laughs> and then i became self-aware and i was like whoa that sugar cooked in. that sugar cooked in yeah i was it like was i turned into wolfman and then all of a sudden i realized i had claws yeah it was like you were speaking at like twice <laughs> two times speed and emphatically explaining the show and i was like this is wild she it's is crazy. going for it oh, this that's is why amazing. i've never done cocaine but like yeah, thank god <laughs> you would die you would die you would be just teeth all the time like people <laughs> would say their jaws move yeah. <laughs> you'd be one of those wind up <laughs> chatter teeth things i would be a skeleton yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah sugar so affects me and like i i yeah. mean like i guess it's because like and I said on the on the uh, the live stream, I was like, I don't get a sweet tooth, and I think that's because yeah. I get sugar from alcohol, yeah. uh, from like having a couple drinks. But then, but that also has like a depressant yeah. to it. So just Even straight drop. sugar. Yeah, I was cracking up. I was like, <laughs> she's not lying. Like this is like a little like eight year old girl just had a pixie sk- stick and ran into the adults party. It was like, you talking about sex in the city? Okay. <laughs> And then 15 minutes later, I was practically asleep. Yeah, and then literally started <laughs> yawning on the live stream. And I was like, this has been a roller coaster watching you eat a bite of sugar. <laughs> I was ending the live stream like, thanks for coming, thanks, guys. guys. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta be put down for a nap. Yeah. Like 20 minutes later. Oh, God, that's so funny. Yeah, it was cracking me up thinking about that last night. But Uh, thanks to everyone that showed up. I think our next live stream is going to be drag themed. Yes, for Pride. For Pride. So we might be doing our own drag makeup, which would be really fun. Sign up to our Patreon if you haven't already. We love it. Um, So you and I were talking before we started when we were, I was like, I got nothing to talk about. Yeah. Um, and so I'm looking up. Yeah. Cause we've done a lot of live streams. We've done a lot of recording. It feels like we've just, all we've been doing is quack, quack, quack. I haven't shut the fuck up <laughs> in days. And so I was like, I got, n- have, what we, 
did we have we pressed stop on yeah. the Zoom recorder yeah. for the last week? So I was I would go to my usual suspects. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go to E online and realize there's nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. You go to page six. Oh, okay. Maybe a little something. That's oh. where I got the Richard Simmons. <laughs> nice, nice. And then I go. I'll look up like. New science stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I, my Google, it's all, it's already stored. Weird and funny news stories. Yeah. Weird and funny news stories. It's the best. But one I saw on sciencenews.org, which feels like the most legit of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a headline. I didn't even read it. But the headline was, tiny treadmills show how fruit flies walk. What? Why are we spending what? money on this? What? Why are we spending money on this? See, that's a click through <laughs> for me. I want to see these <laughs> tiny treadmills. <laughs> and how are they getting the fruit flies to walk? Uh, and why do we need to know how they walk? That uh, was my bigger question. Yeah, that's true. What? Why are we giving? Why is science spending their time seeing like how fruit flies strut? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they live for a day. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Unless that answer oh. unlocks a series of other answers that cure various diseases wow. of some kind. Wow, okay, that's true. Knows? That's it's a Pandora's giving, box. Giving the benefit of the doubt, but also the science world seems crazy. It's I don't crazy. know how people get grants and funding for the research that they do. It seems wild. If my if Tim was here, he would explain all of it to us. Mm-hmm. And, and then I and I saw another headline. Yeah. That I think I could beat. Beat? A, a okay. kid, you know how I always want to beat a record. Yeah. A kid Oh, uh, just beat a record for most mandarin oranges peeled in a minute how many three that seems low that seems low but is it for for a child doing it no i think it's just an over i guess in his practice round he did six. Oh, but then when whoa. the cameras were on i get that you know what i mean yeah. so uh, i'm gonna have to look it up but i feel like this is something i, I can i can also, peel a mandarin you- orange a cutie doesn't stand a fucking chance around me yeah, yeah, you, I mean, <laughs> yeah, your hands are made to tear into those. <laughs> but yeah. I, like, what are the parameters? I'm sorry, it's four. Four in one minute. Okay. Put some respect on this child's name. He's 11 from York, England. He broke a Guinness record by peeling four mandarin oranges in one minute. What is, so, like, if you show up on the day, you only get one chance to do, to break the record? Like, he can't be like... Do, let me do it again. Let me do it again. You know, I don't know because also I'm curious. Was it like a mandarin peel off? And they were right. not like a rice peel off, but like a peel off. Right, right, right. And it was like multiple people trying to do right, it. Right, right. Was this or, a competition? Oh, God. Oh, no. It's what? an under 16 record. Oh, shit. I don't know what. How the, do we sponsor a team do, that has, has strong hands? <laughs> and what's the adult record? Damn, I really came into this being like, I'm going to learn ventriloquism and I'm going to win the Mandarin Arch. And I'm going to put a child in its place. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's I was reading this other article again, also under in line 16. with breaking records or in this case, not breaking records. OK, it's a sad day in Kyle, Texas. Oh, no. Yeah, because the annual gathering of Kyle's once oh, again yeah. failed to earn a Guinness World Record. So here's what happened. This, this is, is so Kyle coded. This is so Kyle coded. <laughs> the gathering of the Kyle's, uh, part of the annual Kyle Fair, aimed to break the Guinness World Record for the largest same name gathering. Organizers only counted 706 Kyles. 706 Kyles showed up to this? Falling short of the number needed to break the record of 2,325, which was set at the gathering of people named Ivan in 2017. So it's just it's the record of gathering of people with the same same name. name. And the Kyles, they keep trying. Last year, they fell short when they had 1,400, 1,490. Yeah. Uh, Kyle's in attendance this year only 706 so it's like they're getting as worse as a Kyle like yeah. let's say you were to, I mean Mamrie yeah let's say there was a the gathering of the Mamries I just be- broke the record you guys <laughs> yeah but like and you're like we're gonna go yeah and then you don't break it twice two years in a row now let me let me ask you this like does this become the lore of the Kyle's if there was a, a place that yeah. was Trying to break the record for like place with the most grace. Oh yeah. Would you show up? F- would you feel guilt not going? Like, you yeah. know, is there are close. there Kyle's places that were like, I, it's like right. not voting, right? Like, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is, is there I mean. Kyle in Portland being like, like, 
It, look, had, it was a long distance to you go. You had almost 1,500 the year before. Right. You have half of that the next year. Like, what happened at this Kyle gathering? They right. Got, they, I mean, obviously, when you b- don't break the record, who wants to show up the next year and be like, here we go, Kyle's, think- and then not do it again? <laughs> I hope they wear name tags. <laughs> I, I, ho- I mean, how do they check this? They must have to go around and check IDs. Yeah, I think you check in with the Kyle's. Yeah. And then, but also, I just want to see, like, do Kyle's attract similar mates? Yeah. Like, there's so the many things I like? want to see. What's the vibe like at the Kyle event? Organizers have not yet announced whether there will be another attempt next year. So I think the Kyle's are regrouping. I think probably the previous year where there was 1,500 or 1,400. Yeah. That must have been the first one because that feels like people were the most excited. Well, this is part of the annual Kyle Fair because this is Kyle, Texas. That's the name of the oh. city. Yeah, so they do a Kyle Fair, then I guess they just started doing the gathering of the Kyles at this event. Wow. Yeah. So now I also want to know, like, what other names are getting, are organizing, you know? Like, who's out there being like, Steve's, let's do this. Yeah, because I feel like there's a lot more Steve's and John's and things like that than Kyle's. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Ivan is the one with the record. That, to me, is kind of wild i don't know any ivans in my world but also what country is that because i I don't think there's many ivans here i feel like ivan is more of like a like a russian name i that's yeah but i you know and then they made them go to that fest (laughs) (laughs) they were like we are beating the record (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah yeah is it in russia this happened in bosnia (laughs) Yep. In 2017. Uh-huh. The largest gathering of people with the same first name. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, Kyles are out there trying. Classic Kyle move. I'm trying to think right now, like, how many Kyles I actually know. Yeah. I don't know that I know any. I think No, one. I know one. Jared's brother. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking that's of. That's the only Kyle I know. <laughs> that's who I'm thinking of. Like, I, yeah. I did not grow up with a Kyle. I, I did not like- go to college with a Kyle. Yeah. Starting to feel like a fake name the more I stay, say it. Yeah. Kyle feels like a lacrosse player yeah. down in Baltimore somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but yeah, the Kyles wow. failed again. Sorry Aww. to the Kyles. That stinks. They tried. Every time Grace and I are going to read ads for this podcast and a ZocDoc ad comes up, I'm like, that one's mine because I just used it again. It is true. ZocDoc has become my go-to to find new doctors, dentists, uh, all anything in that space in an easy way by looking up to make sure they take my insurance. Okay. ZocDoc is a place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you. And we're not talking about a couple doctors. We're talking about a whole network, tens of thousands of doctors doctors all with verified patient reviews so you can make sure the vibes are vibing before you meet IRL. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. Okay, I'm saying you need a pap smear tomorrow, you can probably find one. I have gotten a teeth cleaning the night before. I've gotten an allergy test the night before. Recently, I've started getting migraines. So that was a little bit of a longer wait period, but I found my neurologist that takes my insurance. ZocDoc has it all. Plus, read those reviews, okay? I don't go to a restaurant without reading tons of its reviews. Why would I go to a doctor without reading reviews from actual humans? ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Like I said, they got verified reviews. They got top rated, patient reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. And you can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance. Are located, you know, within a certain distance of you and treat basically any condition you are searching for. So get your doctor's appointments on the books and get them on the books quickly and conveniently by using ZocDoc. So go to ZocDoc.com slash weird and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash weird. ZocDoc.com slash weird. Book those appointments, y'all. Um, one thing I've really enjoyed on <clears throat> online. Yeah. One thing I've really enjoyed in the cyber world this week. On the net. I went back. I went back onto TikTok and specifically looked up Swinger Cruise. Yeah. What What's going on? The one that's taking off or is going to take off? I think it already took off. Okay. I, I think everyone's already got off. So is there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a white sheets everywhere? <laughs> oh God. Is there like you know how that other. Uh, what was it? The longest cruise started oh, to create its own universe of content, and that people like got very 
Like, now there are characters in this world of well, these people that are on the cruise ship. I didn't see that much. And I'm assuming a good amount of people on the couples on this cruise or whatever on this cruise, like, yeah. enjoy anonymity. Yeah. Like, I think there's several people on this cruise who's, you know, like, fellow church people, like, think they're yeah. at Myrtle Beach. Yeah. You know, or think they're on a normal cruise. Yeah. 100%. You know, yeah. Um, it's Less, called. Uh, yeah. It's called the Bliss Cruise, I believe. And I'm sure there's okay. several ones. But what more was getting me is like them doing like standard like TikTok trends, but on the cruise. Are they like dancing? And no. Stuff? So it'll be like, I'm on a. I'm a, <laughs> like I'm on a swingers cruise. Of course I packed condoms. Oh no. I'm on a swingers cruise. Of course I've got a pineapple magnet on my door. Yeah. I'm on a swingers cruise. Of course I share my husband. Yeah. And they're like doing all the like trends. Memes. Oh my god. It's so embarrassing. There's this one couple that I guess have a swingers um podcast. Okay. Called like Swing Nation or something like that. And this like is that. also we're not yucking anyone's yum. No, this, we're not. I yeah. just Come on. It's fascinating. Come on. It's I'm gonna wild. Make, I'm going to make fun of this. Come on. Yeah. They're um, loose. You know. So, but it's so funny because they, it's a couple and like, it's so embarrassing, the content <laughs> that's happening right now, because she's really into doing the thing that's like point and then a word and, and then like then, something yeah. and then point yeah. and point. So she does them a lot, but one of them was just like, things you need to know on a Swinger's cruise, right? And I was like, dink. And it's always like a little off. Yeah. 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 It's like dink. And it's like being on a Swinger's cruise. Dink with 2,500 other swingers. Dink is crazy. And it's like, stay here for more. I'm like, I learned nothing. <laughs> and, I, and I watched several of them and none of them were learning anything. She's not it giving out like, any it's details. Just like, swingers, dink, are, dink, dink, fun. T- stay here for more tips about going on a swingers <laughs> cruise. Hey, she's got a lot of other stuff to do. It's I amazing that she's so. taking time to make content. Huh, you know? So, yeah. Wow. Um, Good for them. Good for them. They're doing it uh-huh. and making content. I can barely make content uh-huh. and I'm in a monogamous relationship on land. I know. <laughs> on land. <laughs> on land, no less. However, we do really want to go on a cruise. I'm going to put this out there. If anyone out there works for Virgin Voyages, yes. hit your girl up. I will be hitting you up. Yeah. Just so you know. That's the next step. I followed you today on Instagram. Did you? Yeah. Plant the seed. Plant the Seal seed. the deal. Even though this is what people are swarming to cruises right now. So I guarantee I will get lost in the sauce of this. But Elliot and I have been watching a ton of cruise content. He is. <laughs> is it the new Disney people for you? Guys? Yeah. Because they are mm-hmm. like there's obviously the Venn diagram of those like travel vlogger There are types. Disney cruises too. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a lot of them go on Disney cruises. And then there's also like people that just love going cruising. So they do all of the different kinds of cruises, Disney and others. But cruising is what you call picking up another couple. They call it cruising in like, this is like a like, family friendly couple that. Oh, cause yeah. cruising is what you would call like, I'm going to go find someone to have like sex with on the, on the down low. I think in the actual cruise culture, in a pure sense, cruising is also like, we like to, this Be is on our cruises. form of travel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I okay. think, unless I'm wrong. Okay. Then correct me if I'm wrong. And these m- nice gentlemen have been doing a double entendre this whole time oh, that shush. I haven't recognized. But we are super into cruises now. We just <laughs> hung out with uh, Anna and Hazel yesterday. And the two of them just started talking about how amazing their cruise experience yeah. was unprompted. And I was like, Elliot would be fucking losing his mind right now hearing how like positive you guys have talked about cruises. look i need to try it and again i'm getting swayed i'm getting swayed i need to try it again look the virgin voyages are adults only yeah so there's no kids stuff to worry about that we've been watching lots of cabin tours they look pretty decent like it looks kind of fun hearing uh, anna and hazel be like it was the fucking best time we ever had that's a, a positive recommendation i trust however you do get a little claustro right i do get some claustro but as long as i'm in a room that has like balcony window oh okay i'll be okay okay because look i i'm not gonna totally shit on them because i went on one cruise and it was the backstreet boys cruise and it was terrible weather through the mediterranean and we and if you read my book or anything you know how that goes (laughs) i bit into a rotten egg okay i bit into a rotten egg (laughs) not a euphemism (laughs) <laughs> but anyway so i won't do that i just you know i i feel like i'd start i could do like a three day 
Yeah. I don't think I'm hanging out on that boat for a fucking week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are only seven days, so I'd have to like that would be what we would go for. I don't I'm I'm getting more excited about trying it. After having gone to an all inclusive, now I'm like, this is the jam. Hey, listen, if this you is... if you can get an MRI, yeah. You can you can get on a cruise. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Like I I you can do Ativan. anything. I'll be okay. Yay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god, speaking of Ativan. Yeah. <clears throat> I just saw on Instagram that Michael Buckley went to Shania Twain mm -hmm. and him. Oh yeah. I watched the videos of it. She, okay. This is what gave me visuals for your experience. Yes. It was wild. And you were like, not exaggerating at all. It was like, I was watching it to a point of being like, are they okay with her performing like this? Uh huh. I mean, she seems to be having fun. The people in the audience obviously seem to be having fun. And I guess that's all that really matters. But everyone in the audience is having fun. Like you're at a friend's sleepover and you can tell the mom's been drinking wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Where you're like, hi, miss. That I'm like, is this okay? Stevens, <laughs> is your mom all right? Yeah. Um, yeah, watching it, I had to stop watching it. Yeah. And message him and, and go, this gave me so much like, like, stored anxiety from yeah. being on her show that I had to like stop to watch it. He was like, Mape. and I go, it was unhinged. And he yeah. goes, that's the exact word I used to describe it all really? day is it was unhinged. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. crazy. And she's doing it every night. <laughs> I think she's doing like a short residency. So, but I don't understand uh, Vegas residencies. It'll be like, I'm doing a residency. And it's like, you're doing five shows over the course of six months. Is my, that a residency? My reference point is Britney Spears' residency, which seemed to go on forever. But that was like six days a week for like seven years or something and though people like to suggest that she's completely out of it she was actually fantastic start to finish in that show she was amazing <laughs> yeah. i the only regret i have about that show is that we weren't there when tyler was there because yeah. he is the one who got on stage yeah, yeah, and got yeah. walked like a dog yeah 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 that would have been truly iconic oh my god oh speaking of with um internet and youtube Grace and I are going to see Rhett and Link's live show tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so excited. And we've never seen them, and we're going with Tyler, and yeah. we're so excited. It's going to be a little reunion of sorts. I'm just pumped. I know. I'm really excited to see to see like people we know do their thing. Yeah. I get very inspired watching like friends and uh, familiar like work acquaintances like just do cool shit. You should see if you can get on stage and do your virtual. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, guys. <laughs> Here's something mythical uh, I'd like to bring to light. Bring me up on stage. I got something to do. It's not. It won't be dirty. It'll be family friendly. Watch this. You turned into Mrs. Doubtfire playing a worm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys! I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. You're calling it, okay? I laughed so hard during that. Yeah. I like, I felt like I had just eaten I gotta, a little sugar. I gotta look up like how to ventriloquist. Because yeah, I feel like there's, there's gonna be some YouTube tutorials. Okay, yeah. Number one, you must be able to talk without moving your lips. Number well, I two, have a different voice for your puppet. You can't have the same voice. Yeah. Oh, keep your puppet or ventriloquist figure quote alive through manipulation. Ooh. And I don't like hold that. a believable conversation with your character. Those are the top four things of how to do ventriloquism. I disagree. Wow. I anyway, disagree. Much to learn. I have much, much to, to learn. learn. Uh, I can't wait. We're going to start training you up because we're going to go to Kentucky. Um, yeah. Um, this also, was fun. This was really fun. Uh, we'll talk more on This Might Get Real this week. Yes. And apologies. Oh, my God. Last week, guys. That, wow. Uh, we're getting a little roasted <laughs> on last week's episode. Um, I mean, truly. Mamrie didn't know that it was for sure an immunity challenge before that one tribal council. And I'm a, I accidentally called Kenzie Kelsey, which in my notes, she's Kenzie. I'm so that's totally Grace, something I didn't I'm sure recognize. you did that once. I have so many comments that are like, <laughs> Mamrie gaslighting Grace into saying there was no... Uh, people being like, oh, you no. gotta love how confident that girl is in being <laughs> wrong. But people were like, this was really hard to listen to. Yeah, people were <laughs> like, like oh, my no. ears are bleeding. I'm fully pulling <laughs> a Liz and screaming I'm pissed. Yeah, as a fan of this show, I don't know if, if I, I can, can continue. ever listen to you guys again. <laughs> and I was like, I get it. There is a sacredness to this there program. Is. For the fandom, we are fledgling fans. Keep yes. that in mind. We are new. 
We are trying our best. We are genuinely uh, entertained and enjoy mm-hmm. the show. So it's never like we love it. a slight to it. But no. Yeah. Sorry, gal. We'll try to be more cognizant. <laughs> if you, I know. Truly. And I will. You know what? I will. I don't always think I'm right, but I just I, I watched it so early in the morning. Well, next and time I we'll just go it. agree to disagree agree to and disagree. then we'll let the no, comments next time decide. I'm going to gaslight, manipulate. I'm going to I'm going to change the edit <laughs> no, and replay learned, it. We did learn that they were uh, people were saying before every tribal council is an immunity challenge. So that's just like to I didn't, keep in mind. I didn't know. This is how we learn. This is how we learn. This, this is, is how a we teachable learn. moment. Yes. A learning educational moment. It is. And so this Friday, we are going to finally get caught up on Drag Race Drag All-Stars Race. Yeah. and the final installment of Vanderpump Rules where they watch the end of the last episode together. Yeah. So that should be a, a grand old time. And then time. we'll figure out what we're doing moving forward. Yeah. Woo-woo. Woo. Well, oh, my God. This got weird. <laughs> yeah, <it did. laughs> 